Howdy folks! Today I will be reviewing Relup Diamond 5 from the Gangster's Kingdom range. Got him last week and like I've said before if you've been reading my comments and stuff um, I wasn't too keen on him because he's a wolf and uh, looks very much like Wolverine and I didn't think that he fitted in with the uh, Gangsters Kingdoms uh, gang, let's say, uh, you know. But I, uh, he was going for a good price, so I snapped him up. I'm glad I did because the quality of this figure is is one of the best. I mean, uh, it seems like the the more figures that come out from Damn Toys. I think the quality is getting better and better. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I got him. Um, I haven't put him with my others yet. Because I'm still... I haven't even taken him upstairs with my others. I haven't put him in the room with them yet or put them together. But I actually do think now he, he might just fit in. He, he's not too bad of a wolf. He's, he's okay. You know, I, I'll show you... Uh, I'll show you the figure and then I'll show you what's... I'll show you what's in the box, but the thing is, he's got most of it on him now, so... Uh, as for the figure himself, he comes with a really uh, cool leather jacket. So much detail on it. The studs and the cross and... Um, this is cuff, step up. Look at that, even on, stretch the arm out. Look at that cross on the elbow. Um, it's just so well made. Really, really cool. Um, and then he's wearing a white bloody t shirt. He's got like a muscle muscle suit underneath, a spongy thing so to define his muscles. Um, a lot of people say take it off because it, it makes him look podgy. I can't be bothered to undress him right now, so I'm going to leave it on. Uh, he comes with this necklace, uh, gun holder, with bullet holder around him, and sorry if the camera is shaky, just holding it with my hand. Still haven't got around to buy now. Flipping stand for it, maybe one day. Eh? Comes with this very cool cigar which sits nicely in his mouth. None of the Gangster's Kingdom have a cigar yet. Um, what's his name? Fat Man Marshall came with a cigarette with like the, the fake uh, smoke coming out. But he comes with a cigar and looks really cool. As you can see, his hair uh, just like Wolverine, just like a wolf. Then going down, very cool belt buckle there. I don't know if you can see that. And then he comes with see these these go on his hand, and they go on the side of him. There, I took one out so you can see what they. There's one in there already. So he keeps these two in a holder, and uh, and they just fit on his hand like that. That's when I guess he really looks like a wolf. He's got bloodied hands as well. That's really cool. Um, his jeans are excellent. Little. They're just so stylish. I would wear these jeans if they, if they made them for adults. Really stylish and very cool looking boots that match his jacket. Um, this one came with um this one came with a with a custom stand it says uh, the the motto against this kingdom motto we all go to hell see you in hell and it's got his name at the front so that was pretty cool that he came with that that's basically it oh he comes with this cool handgun as well so yeah, that's basically the figure. Oh, he's got his little, what is it, a water bottle or something attaches to the to his belt at the back there. 
So yeah, I mean, they didn't go crazy on his uh, weapons or anything. They focused on, on these things and I'll show you in the box or something else. It would be nice if he come with like a shotgun as well. I mean, I'm always complaining because I never get, I'm never really satisfied with the accessories. I want more and more and more. I love some um, figures like Harry and Baron that come with loads of accessories. They're the kind of... Uh, Figures that I really like. But yes, this I mean this this guy. I'm glad I got him. He's, oh, after not wanting to get him, yeah, he's full of style. So let's have a look at the box. Again, this box is on a chair. You can just see how big it is. It's huge. Um, the art on the box is Rallop and his wolf friend, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so you open it up and as usual you get a card, you get the story, take that off, you get a comic book, uh, he's obviously taken out, now you get this hand here, um, with blood and blades, so it's like, you know, Blood coming out of his blades, like he's just slit someone's throat open or something. It's only one, I only give you one. I don't give you one for the other side. Would have been would it have been nice to have two? I think it would have been. Um nice to have two to be honest. But uh, that's that. Then, as you'll probably know, he comes with this little fellow, his little pet. Oh, by the way, this this little dude. I'm just going to put him on here because he, we he weighs a ton. He really weighs a ton. And uh, his name is Ghost. He comes with two mouthpieces, um, which obviously go in his mouth. Um, one second. Remember how to do this. I've only looked at this once very briefly. Uh, there you go. That's in. Bath is closed at the moment. It's just like a magnet. Um, that's his mouth in. Or you, if you choose the other one, his mouth will be open. It just slips on like a magnet. Um, so then there's his other mouth. His mouth just fell off then because he didn't stick it in properly. <laughs> So a lot of this is missing because it's all on him. Everything that was in here is all on him. Um, he does have these, does come with these two extra hands. Um, closed fist and open fist, this one. In case you want the left hand to be closed or open, you can choose. And if you didn't want a trigger hand, for the right hand, you can have a closed fist. So I give you the option to change his hand so he looks different. Um, yeah, that's it. Obviously in here was his, his gun, his water bottle, his belt, you know, his uh, claws were in there. And uh, they're all on him, so that's why the box is empty. I mean, if you, if you don't, if you can get this figure out at a good price and you're collecting them anyway, I would say get it. It's definitely um, a good asset to the collection. Um, like I said, I, I did. I was thinking I'm not getting it, um, but it came out. It came out. Um, came up as a really good price from a seller, and it had the custom stand. And uh, yes, I've got a really good deal on it. So you know, I'm a sucker for good deals. I can't pass them up really can't so yeah he'll be going into my collection um let's just get a close-up of his face you can see his teeth they're he's looking very angry and mean and he's got a wicked beard as well isn't he? i think he's probably got a hairy chest under there i'll strip him one day when i'm bothered and have a look at see if he's got any tattoos or or uh, whatever he's got on his body, got like these little 
rip tattoos there. But yeah, great figure. Very happy with him. He's got he's got a cute little angry pet there to go with. Um my gripe is that they could have made like a a gangster with a with a bulldog or something, you know, but uh, now we know that was it Hearts Free is coming out so they kind of answered my prayers with a with that. So you just don't know what they're coming out with next. But I'm glad I've got him, really glad and um thanks for watching my videos and to all of you who comment thank you for spending the time watching my videos comp commenting. I really appreciate it. I know my videos aren't that great. The camera shakes a lot. I need better equipment. I leave tape on my um iPhone, so um, I'm, I'm by no means a professional. It's just I love these figures. I, it's my hobby collecting them. I love um, sharing them with you and um, getting feedback. So thanks again. Appreciate it. And uh, don't know when I'll be back with, an, with another Gangsters Kingdom review. Um, I've got something in mind that I want to review, so I might do that next. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed looking at this. Anything you want to know, if you haven't got this and you want to know anything, let me know. If you want to see anything else in detail, let me know. I'll be glad to help. Have a good day, guys. Goodbye.